So if we're about to go to the field for the, and we've got an HDF out in the field for the first time, just a few things to keep in mind. Uh, for starters, obviously we've got our header information with our sensitivities like we would any other head. Uh, with an HDF or an RDF, we've got the downforce. So I'm just gonna kick my header switch on and push number two to show you guys this. But downforce, we can run typical, light, very light. I mean, just basically change the weight of the header. The heavier this runs, the more it's gonna be able to flex when that terrain does change. But the trade-off is the more likely it could push material if we're in softer ground or wetter ground. So typical is your, a great starting point, but if you're wanting more flex, maybe lean towards that heavier side or the light side. Now, one advantage to an HDF is we can go under advanced tuning if we really wanna fine tune. And within each range, if we're set on typical, we can turn that up by small increments or we can adjust individual wings. If we're seeing an issue on one side or the other and either lighten one side or the other quickly and easily on the go. So as field conditions change, as you're running, you can actually see the difference this makes. So make sure you're taking advantage of that, changing your force and changing your advanced wing pressure if that calls for it. Now, if you go under auto control, with our one, two, and three, one's being set up for headland, two I normally set up for normal operating conditions, or three is for a special case. Typically, this is just gonna be for uh, your header height and your flex position, but you can also save more things into here. So your downforce, you can turn on auto belt speed preferences, a real position fore and aft. And as you go, so if we go to number two and say our reel's right there, maybe I wanna move that, move that up. Now I'll just push and hold number two, give it about five seconds and it'll save that. Now say for number three, I want the reel down and way forward like this. So I move it where I want it. I push and hold number three. Give it about a full five seconds. Now, because I've got real position resume turned on in my automatic header controls, when I hit two, it'll go back to that first real position. If I hit three, it'll push that reel down and out. Say if we were in a lodged area of the field. So all those settings you can save into these presets by having the individual components on or off. If you don't want that reel moving back and forth, just simply turn that off. And that also applies to you know, our reel, our draper belts, and our downforce too. So you see in number two, I have it set for typical for normal operating conditions. But maybe uh, there's that lodge spot is also some pretty soft or wet ground that wants to push. So when I'm in number three, see I clicked number three and now it switches to very light. So it'll soften that ground pressure, allow us to roll right through there. And once we're through, we hit number two and we can go back to normal. So this allows you as an operator to do very few button presses and change a lot of things at a, at a time to really maximize what this header is capable of and maximize what you're getting done throughout the course of the day. So if I want to do the opposite for downforce, say to change it to very heavy, it will remember that for number three. So if I hit number two, it goes to typical, you see my reel is still moving to those presets. And then number three again. Also, one thing if you're using the automatic reel, when you hit number one, try to remember, save that reel all the way down uh, that can help sweep off that cutter bar when you're coming into those headlands, picking up and sweep those last few beans into the belts instead of letting them, letting them roll over the front. Another advanced feature of this HDF head is what happens when we do pick up using number one and turn around on the headland. If we go under the information and settings button at the top, and if we scroll down, there is a wing leveling 
mode. And here we can set our home position. So when we hit number one, do we want the, those wings to come level? If so, we'd hit that button. If we're in hilly ground, terraced ground, or any other reason where we want those wings to come up into a smile each time we turn around, we'd set it there. And you see my wings are moving because I'm still set on number one. That means anytime we come back to number one on our joystick, it will do whatever we've set here. Also, if you're about to load this header onto a trailer, um, unhook it, anything like that, or you just want to level it, um, if you're not on, let me put the wings up and I'll get off number one here for a second. So if I just want to level these wings out, I can come in here too, hit that and then press and hold my wing level button. And it'll also set it to either perfectly level or full smile. So just a neat thing you can do for the uh, to maximize the capability of this head with your one, two and three on your joystick combined with the pressures of your wings, your real position, all those settings right here with very few button presses.